So it is actually Friday. Can you imagine that? Fantastic. And uh, if it is Friday, it means that it's time again for Dax Fridays and here I am delivering that to you. In today's video, I actually thought that I would uh, cover the new DAX function that was released in this April 2018 update. Uh, Amanda shows that in her video. And um, I somehow like, I, I recognize that function. Uh, haven't I done a video on that? And the fact is that I have. There is a video, I think it's episode 58, where you can go and see how selected columns works. I don't know why I've done it. Uh, before it was released. Uh, there's probably an explanation on the video, go check it out. Uh, there will be a link, um, uh, it will pop up on the right hand side and then it will be a link down below to that function. So, because I've already covered that function, I need to deliver something else, right? So I'm not going to leave you without a Dax Fridays videos and I thought I would do a table of function. I know you love table of functions. They are a lot of fun to work with, they are so versatile. And I thought I would do group by. So group by is very similar to summarize, but there are some critical things that are defer them and make it very, very useful. It is a super useful function. Make sure you check it out and I explain it, I think, in enough details so you can start using it right away. So I'll start with the tutorial and I'll see you at the end. So for today's DAX Fridays, I'm going to use the Northwind dataset that we always use. And uh, I have a link here on the details page. And there will be a link to YouTube tutorial and the um, Corbel glossary when ready. Of course, it is not ready yet. And before we start doing any DAX, we will go through the group by function. So if we go here, go up. So group, fun group by function is very similar to summarize, but there is a difference, of course, otherwise it, will, it wouldn't exist. But if we look at the syntax, so let's go through that first. For group by, you will first give it a table. Any DAX expression that returns a table. Then you add the columns that you want the data to be grouped on. Then you give, this is the expression part, you have to give the expression a name, of course, and then for the expression, and this is where it's different with summarize, you cannot use calculate and you can use any of the X aggregation functions available. Okay, and the DAX expression in here has to return a scalar value. So, just so you know. Um, and I think, no, we need to know a little bit more. We need to use this current group function. And this is quite interesting. So this current group function is that makes this function group by work. This is where the magic happens. So what current group function does is it returns a set of rows from the table that you've given, for in this case is sales. So it returns the rows that are appropriate for the country and the category that you in, in this case, column country, column category. So this is the one that groups the data so it can then be summed. So it's like super smart function. So I think we know enough now to go to Power BI and start doing some DAX. So let's do that. We go here in Power BI and this is going to return a table so you can actually see how things work. And here we're going to write sales by, we're do going to do it by country and by product. And here's what we do. We write group by, of course. Then, as you remember, we need to give a table. We're going to give all the details. And uh, we are going to have country from the customer's table and we're going to have product names from the product table. So now we have the table where we want to do the sales, which is the order details, that's where the sales actually are in this um, model. We want to have the sales group by country and by product name, okay? And 
now we have to give group by an expression. We have to tell them, okay, what do you want to do with this new table that you created? We want to have the total sales. Uh, ouch, there. And then some X. If you don't know how some X, I have a video for that. It will pop up somewhere. And then you have it in the description box. So I won't go through that very like on detail. You can just go to that video. But for some X, you need a table. And if you remember from the explanation that Microsoft has given us, we're using this current group. So current group is going to take the sales table. Oh, this is so annoying. It's going to take the order data table and it's going to give us the value by country and by product. So you can actually do the sum. And now we want to tell, we tell them what we wanted to do. And we say, okay, we want to have, oh, <laughs> sorry. We want to have uh, quantity times unit price. And it creates a table, like we said. So we can actually see what it's doing. And so you can see here that we got the uh, columns that we specified, country from customer country and product name from product. And then it's giving us the sales for those two. I think it's super useful, right? But what is really cool in the explanation that Microsoft gives is that, okay, you can actually go one step more ahead. And let's say that we want to know of the US, what was the highest sales for US, you know, by country. So highest sales by Germany, by US, by Brazil, France, yeah, you name it. So to do that, you can do a new group by. So you can group by by group by. Let's take a look at that, it's super cool. So let's create the new table. We call this highest, highest uh, sales. We are going to create a variable. If you don't know how variables work, I have a video on that that it will pop up on the right side or you know you will find a link below. And I will not go through details here, otherwise the video will get too long. But we're going to create a, var a variable, which is basically the measure that we did before. Let's call it something less intimidating. We call it sales. And return this is how you return the valuable variable that you just created and here we're going to do the new group by so we're going to use the table that we created before with group by and we're going to use it for a new calculation we're going to use our sales variable we're going to uh, have them by country because we said highest sales by country, perhaps I should write that here. So it's like super clear. Now we need to have the uh, name of the expression, which is going to be max sales. And now the actual expression, which is max. And then remember where the magic happens, the current group, this is the one that will return the sales table by country. So it can then max go in and do the total sales, which is what we are going to do there. And voila, here we have, we have all the countries and we have the highest sales for each country. We're using max, so it's going to give us the highest value on the table that we created before, which is this table. So just let's go and take a look. Always good to verify your numbers. So if we go to Germany was the first one, right? Uh, we need to put products. Let's put Germany as a, ah, no, 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 no. Let's put Germany as a filter. Uh, where are you, Germany? There. And now let's see. Now we have sorted this by um, highest. 
and how about we have a whole number with this thing and the highest sales for this table we haven't we don't have any dates whatsoever is 31,620. If we go to our highest mode, we could actually put them here. Customers max sales as a table. And we find Germany somewhere. Where are you, Germany? There. So here we have 31,620. We would use Argentina. 1620. As you can see, it it's giving us the correct result. So isn't this amazing? This is very, very handy um, table, fun table function to, to use and to know. So hopefully this is a useful video for you. Okay, so how did you enjoy the group um, by function? It is extremely useful, isn't it, on this current group? This is I, I really like it. I hope you enjoy it too and you can start doing some DAX magic tricks with it. Um, it is almost the end of the day for you, perhaps. For me, I have a couple of videos to do. I will have to do today both Monday and uh, Wednesday video because I'm going to be at the Microsoft Tech Summit in Stockholm. It is on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm going to deliver a Power BI session and then I will do a Power BI embedded session assist with a Microsoft employee. So if you are in Stockholm and you have tickets, I know they are sold out, you will see me there. I will be going there instead of the Dublin uh, Data Summit. So if you're going there, I'm sorry, I won't be able to meet you this time, but I have to go to the next big one. I'm not sure exactly when it is. But uh, I will be here on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. I will do some preparations on Monday and uh, I will do some recording today so you can actually have a video on Monday and Wednesday too. So when that is ready, I will start my weekend. So um, yeah. I hope you enjoy your weekend and I will see you again on Monday. Take care. Bye.